Hey, Trace, hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. Friday, yay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, um, USD CAD. A little embarrassing. This was a fat finger thing that I did. So I was on my phone and I, I was at work early in the morning. I wasn't incoherent though. Like I was sort of aware with with what was going on. And the USD CAD had actually moved um, pretty rapidly last night. And it had gone over 2% in profit. So I was going to move. What I really should make sure is maybe program this into the trade where the trailing exit is automatic because I haven't moved the stop loss on the phone app before of FX trade. So I ended the stop loss and I moved it, but it was still at the same level. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And it sort of appeared that I might have ended another buy order at 12777 where I originally got in. Um, that wasn't the case. So I thought it did put another you know order in. So I closed it, but that was the original order and it, it, it closed the trade out. But I mean, I made, um, that was around 10% or so. Not 10%, I wish 10%, 2%. <laughs> there it is, there we go. So, 1,000 units. Closed at 12887. So, you know, not too bad. So I was happy with that. Um, yeah, so about 10, 1035. I think it was like 1088 or something, I believe. So, um, now, the Euro Aussie and the USD Yen are actually doing something. And the Euro Aussie seems to be doing a little bit of something. It's approaching, um, oh, it's half a percent. Okay, so this is this is the thing about the trend trading, guys. You know, this is why it's important to have your risk management down. Because, you know, if you've been following the channel, and I appreciate that. Um, and if you are new to the channel, please go through. I have a lot of videos, but this week... Um, every day I post a update video about how my forex positions are going in. Just as a learning perspective, you can see what you know they've been doing because I, I, you know, obviously I screen capture, you know, live what's going on. And at one point I was like negative one point two percent at the end of last week, and now, um, you know, it's about just over that. It's like one point three percent positive. So you are like wow, like things things can change a little bit. So you've just got to you know, stick with it, honestly. But if it does hit the stop loss, it's not, you know, the end of the world. USD yen, um, 105.50 is, and well, 105 flat is some significant support. So we'll see, we'll see what it does when it gets down there. Um, I, I might move the stop loss to break even as well, just to sort of, that will allow me to pursue other trades as well. <clears throat> Um, USD yen. So that's the, that's USD yen. And that's what it's doing on the daily. So we'll see how New York goes though. That's not going to be open until another three and a half hours. I probably won't do a New York update. Uh, I will do an end of week wrap up video, uh, tomorrow, probably in like tomorrow evening, probably more than 24 hours away. So, uh, Euro Aussie, and this is, it's, it's doing something. So it's out of that little consolidation there been very ugly so we'll see again how this one goes and um, this one's moving not too bad at all but again I have very limited expectations um, the USC CAD has pulled back a little bit I, I won't really dwell on that but again guys an important lesson is just to be you know take your time a little bit and you know potentially what I need to invest in is putting in the trailing exit program and having that prepared when I take the trade so that I avoid these, you know, human errors, which was, you know, not the end of the world. I mean, it's 2% is 2%, but I would really like to, my back testing has been, um, and my forward testing with the demo account that I was using last year was, it was about trailing the move. Cause this, this could sort of, you know, I know there's news out about tariffs and everything, and you might be thinking, Scott, aren't you concerned about this? And absolutely not. I just trade what I see in front of me. I trade the price, I trade technicals, so that's that's my concern. But what I want to touch upon as well is the Aussie yen. Now, the Aussie yen, I, you know what, I potentially um, might be keen to trade this. No, I don't want that. There we go. Okay. Brought over the other monitors. The Aussie yen. 
Uh, how I would sort of trade this would be stop loss would be the 55 day moving average at 83.652. And here's just fine as an entry. Um, I, I want to wait till that candle closes. And I've got an indicator here that will let me. Uh, it should be B clock spread distance. So two hours, 51 minutes up will close. And that will sort of coincide with around 10 o'clock. And I'll see, I'll see what that does. If it's wiki, then I probably won't be keen, but if it can close near the low, um, you know, there's probably a trade on there, honestly. Obviously, you know, I am a little, it's, it's, it's interesting because I sold the USD yen, but I bought the USD cat and I understand correlation and everything, but it's just, you know, I see the setup. It's a small account. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm building my psychology. And I'll take the trade. You know, it's very small risk for me, and I just it helps, you know, my learning process, especially learning the winners run. So I am a little bit disappointed about the USD cat. If you think that you're like, oh Scott, you might have seen something on Twitter, but that did happen. Um, yeah, so it's not the end of the world. I think this will have it up here in the account history. And for the new viewers um, who've come back who might have seen me with my demo account, this is a live account as well. I would encourage you just jumping straight in a live account, honestly. It's, um, oh, there we go, 10, 1022. That would have been, no, that would not have been. Just have a good time. Oh, USD cat, 11.05. So I made a little bit more than 2%. So. Um, yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, that's that, guys. So, Aussie Yen is a potential sell trade. Uh, if we bring it up in the daily house, look on the daily. I was looking on the weekly. Okay, there is support there. So, that's something to keep in mind. But it, what it does have is a lot of space to the left to win the week with. You know, a, a conservative approach would be waiting for it to close in 30 or 30 odd hours and then waiting for next week. So I might also be doing that as well. So we'll just see how it wants to behave uh, during the New York session. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Happy trading. Good luck.